Hello. So we, we, we can see from the graph that uh, there was a rise, right? So it began to rise. And then after this, it became flat. Okay. So the flat portion means that the reaction stopped. Okay. Because the jars have equal amount of chlorine, right? So, uh, but it can only take so much, right? It can only take so much of sodium. So if you continue to add sodium and you run out of chlorine, then the reaction is going to stop. So, of course, from this up to that point, there's still reaction ongoing, but on the flat side, you run out of chlorine, and so the reaction stops, okay? Then for the second part, the we can get the uh, molecular weight of all the you know elements so sodium is 23 and we have double so that becomes 46 right chlorine is uh, 35.5 times 2 is 71 and of course this is uh, sodium plus chlorine right that's 23 plus 35.5. And then that's two here, so we have two. Okay, so we're just going to do a proportion, right? So if you have 46 grams of sodium giving you 117, as you can see in the equation, then you want to know how much this is going to represent, okay? And that's going to be 50.9 in the CL, right? So we're basically using proportion for almost all the questions. When you come to C, we're doing the same thing. 46 is giving you 71. So what will uh, 40 give you? Because if you look at the graph, you realize that at 40, the reaction stopped, right? At 40, the reaction stopped. So that's where the 40 is coming from, okay? So we want to know 40 uh, gram of sodium is going to react with what amount? So, oops. So this is the mass of the chlorine in the jar. Okay, mass of chlorine in the jar. Let's go to the next part. Uh, again, another ratio proportion to get a mass of any CL. So we got 46, if you remember from the equation, it's giving you 117. So what will 40 grams of sodium give you? Okay. So the mass of any CL is going to be that. Uh, and the last part, uh, another proportion question. Yeah, we want to find out the uh, mass of the leftover, right? So you first need to find the uh, amount of chlorine if you have 20 grams of sodium. And that's going to give you 30.9. But we calculated earlier in C the mass of chlorine, right? So if you use 20 grams of sodium, then you're going to need this amount of chlorine. So the difference becomes the uh, excess, right? Okay. Thank you very much.